Body slam number five. I'm going to first show you what's called a Japanese wizard. It's another very prominent wrestling move. And it's even something that a small guy like me can do to a big guy like this. What I'm going to do is try to get some pressure on him so he wants to push back on me. So when I feel this push right there, I'm going to take this arm here, I'm going to circle up, I'm going to try to touch the sky with it. At the same time, trapping this arm, and I'm going to just drop to my knees. He's going to roll over me. Right here, I have his arm. I can possibly slide into an arm bar or just wrap it over his face and kill the arm. Once again. Jimbo here with a quick announcement. I've got some ultra brutal fight indie moves that I am not allowed to share with you here. They're ugly, vicious, lethal moves. They're also surprisingly simple to learn. Outside the US Special Forces, not a lot of guys know these, but when it hits the fan and your life is on the line and you need something truly nasty to end the fight in a couple of seconds, you're gonna wanna know this stuff. It's brutal hand-to-hand -hand training that's yours for free. Just get to the description below and click on the link. Okay, back to our video. Body slam number four. Next thing we're gonna do is the mush. It's just what it is. We're gonna mush this cat out of my way. Let's go over here. With the mush, all you're doing is pushing somebody off you. Grab, I'm going to grab Joe's forehead, but usually you want to basically grab the facial area, pushing and pulling and slamming them down. Loose here. The demons have been released and this cat is out. So you want to drop him down with the mush and not just sit there with it. It's not, it's not something that I'm just gonna sit here with. If I'm gonna do the mush, I'm gonna come in and push him back down. I'm gonna run into him and mush him down to the ground. Again, this is another technique that is going for the head area to drop back and hit the concrete. Another, another move that's gonna cause a problem with brain damage, with death, with a neck injury, so you're gonna look at that, what that mush is gonna to do to you. Practice softly with your partner, even though I'm not being too soft with Joe right now, but Joe's tough. And look at that head. So <laughs> we, we all right. So you wanna put that mush in, slamming them down, and knowing what, you, what you're actually doing when you're throwing this in. You're not trying to play games. You're not trying to just well, you want to get them off. You can use it as a, as a you know, I'm going to get them off me. But you actually really want to put them down. Because I'm going to run through them after I put them down. Stop picking your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> get over here. We've seen them from the different angles. Again, notice how I'm grabbing the shoulder. Because this is giving me leverage. This is Reverend Cash Money uh, move. Dollar bill, y'all. We're going to go ahead and lose here <laughs> and let them down. Let them release the demons. So look at you, what you're going to do. Know the situation that you're in. Once you know the situation you're in, you know the techniques that you're going to bring to the table. Hey, don't forget about those deadly hand-to-hand -hand moves. This training is yours for free from the link in the description. I honestly don't know how long I'll be allowed to give this stuff away here as it's pretty over-the-top stuff. So get to the description right away. Body slam number three. In some street encounters, people really like to control the body, and one of the best ways to control is to grab the throat, push the larynx in to create a gag reflex to make the person choke, panic, feel afraid. And this is a real common move. A lot of people die from this and that's ridiculous because when some idiot comes up on the street and grabs you by the throat, they're asking to be stopped. In this scenario, as John grabs Sab's throat, Sab's gonna pin his arms, he doesn't want him to get away, and then he stomps his chest. After he stomps the chest, he pulls him back in, grabs him, lifts him up in the air, and he would literally whip him down onto the pavement. 
the concrete, whatever the case may be, hoping to get a whiplash effect so that like he snaps him like a towel so that his head bounces off the ground. This can kill, there's no question about it. It's very dangerous because if it doesn't injure his back, it's at the very least probably gonna crack the base of his skull. So it's something you have to be very careful with, but it's extremely effective. A little bit faster, please. <laughs> And that would be fight again. Once more, I want to remind you that any time you're doing a whipping motion on a person, you stand a good chance of giving them like whiplash and injuring the base of the skull, the neck, bones. You've got to be very careful about this because you're hitting their head off the ground. That's a killing technique, especially on pavement. If he has as much as an inch off the ground and you kick his head down, you've got more than enough force to crack his skull. And that's so dangerous. They can be okay that night and die the next morning. But it's a very effective fighting technique. And if your life's threatened or you think you need it on the street, you don't want to play, you're walking from your car, say, to your door and someone attacks you in the dark, this is a good way to break them with that habit. Body slam number two. Okay, another situation that uh, you might find yourself in is maybe two, he grabs with two arms. Okay, anytime a guy's got both hands on you, especially here, guess what, he's not controlling these things. My hands are free to do whatever I would like to do with them. Um, one technique that I find to be very effective, grabbing the wrist, lowering my own body weight here. So, again, here, come down. As I do that, I'm gonna step forward. You're gonna land on your back. Here. and I drive my chest into the sternum and take him to his back. You'll see that same scenario a lot of times. A person will grab you and push you up against the wall. Okay? It's the same idea. All you're gonna do is slide down the wall with him. He'll tend to stand up, shoot forward, grab him, and take him over. Final notice about that lethal fight ending training. It's simple, easy to learn, and devastatingly effective training taught to special forces, but typically not to civilians. You can get it free in the description. Just hurry. I doubt very much that this will be around for long. I'll see you inside. Body slam number one. Here's a great move. Baggage toss. I'm going to baggage toss Brian and Cole. I want to say something about this. It's the first move that I taught to Josh Thompson, who is on the second set of tapes, and he's busy these days right now. He used the same move that, that night that he learned it. And through someone who was on a roid rage down a flight of stairs. And so you gotta love the move for that. But basically, what it is, when, the person is, when the person is trying to push and shove on you, or you can do it from a distance, what I want, why he's, he's wearing the gladiatorial protector here, <laughs> is that he, I'm gonna reach my hand all the way through. I have to get my hand all the way through here. All right, when I do this, I'm, I gotta be deep. I gotta go. I gotta go all the way in. I want to try to grab as if, if he had a belt back here. That's what I want to get. In, in reality, I want to strike very hard into his throat with my, with my forearm. But for practice purposes, I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use, the chest area. Okay. This is gonna be strange. It's a big fall too. It's a huge fall, for him. <clears throat> for me, it doesn't bother me. All right. So I'm in from here, and you can, the way Josh used it was the guy was crazily coming at him, thinking, yeah, pretty much that way. Josh just stopped this and came, came underneath. When he came underneath, he went down like this. When you come here, this hand's in the way, but you're gonna see it, I'm here. It's hard to do without really hurting him. <clears throat> he's in, he's in here, okay, now, Let's we'll switch directions so that you can see. Because I like using this one side. Remember, you don't have to have you don't have to use both arms. You don't have to have both sides good because in a fight, no one's going to give you points and money and offer you a TV contract for your ability to use both sides. One side is sufficient. You're trying to survive. Anyway, here I'm going to reach through. You have to be able to reach through. That is crucial to this because. The off balancing occurs by a pivot motion. I have to be all the way, I want to be this far in. And see, I'm lower again. Once again, my hips are lower. It's hard for us not to fall right here. 
and I'm pushing. I would be striking, but I'm pushing into this chest area here. Okay, when I'm in here, I'm pushing. There's nothing to this. In fact, I've taught a lot of women to use this move, and it's not very difficult. So it may look like it's a strength move, but it's not. Well, in fact, I don't know, something about the women, woman's psyche, they like to toss guys around when they learn this move. But that's all there is to this, is that you're in with the arm and the pivot point. This pressure here is crucial. I gotta talk about what's important here. Having the arm in deep to, the, to this point of the arm, trying to grab through a belt back there to, to leverage like this. With this, if you don't have this, you're not gonna be effective. You've got to have a point where you're pushing. You're getting, a, you're getting a pull and a push going, just like that. And that's what makes this move effective. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.